I just want to say that this is the eggiest egg of a head I've ever seen in my entire life. But it is what it is. Today's video is going to be an intense booty and leg workout that I wanted to take you guys through. I've been doing this workout, trying it for something new, but I wanted to try it along with you. So the entire workout will be posted in the description box in case you miss anything out, any tips, any tricks. Um, but uh, I just want to show you, you know, I just, I just can't deal with this egghead, okay? What are you thinking about this egghead? All right, without further ado, let's get into this video and be sure to hit that thumbs up button which helps support your galley. Let's get into this workout. Okay guys, so the first exercise that I want you to do is actually a superset. So I've already pre-exhausted and also activated. If you want to see an activation routine purposely just for the booty, let me know in the comments down below. And pre-exhaust, I did some hyper extensions, 20 reps of hyper extensions, two sets just to get those glutes really fired up and know that they are about to get trained. So the first exercise is gonna be a superset. We are supersetting a barbell stiff leg deadlift followed by goblet squats, if that's a mouthful, another 12 reps. We're doing three sets of this. If you notice as well, the bar that I'm using when I'm doing stiff leg deadlifts is a much smaller bar just because I feel like I can actually grip the bar better because it's thinner and my hands are small so I get a good grip. You can also use some liquid chalk or hand grips as well to help you lift the weight. And also the distribution of a smaller bar is just a little bit better for me. I'm not like losing balance or being unstable. So let's get into the first exercise. Okay guys, so as you saw, when I was doing the goblet squats, I had my elbows tucked into my body, not flared out. This will honestly help you so, so much. Keep that weight close to your body, feel it in your glutes, feel it in your whole entire soul. So make sure that you give that a go. Brad Contreras showed me that. You know how I feel about him. I absolutely love him. He is the most amazing guy. Oh, wow. Okay guys, so moving on to the second exercise. This is just gonna be a singular exercise. We're not doing a superset for this one. We are going to be doing a B stance hip thrust. Essentially that means one foot is in front of the other. You are lifting your toes up, digging your heels onto the ground, thrusting the weight up, so we're using a barbell. You're gonna be hitting each leg, 12 reps, three sets. Whenever you are in a rush though, try and avoid doing single leg exercises. They are absolutely amazing, but they do take up a lot of time. So, if you are in a rush, swap this exercise for just your standard barbell hip thrust. And yeah, that's a great alternative. So, let's get into exercise number two. Moving on to the third exercise, we are jumping into a superset yet again. This time only the cables are required, so we're gonna stay in one position in the gym. 
So we're going to be doing a cable pull through along with a cable stiff leg. Both will consist of 10 reps, we're going to be doing 3 sets. Whenever you are performing a superset, normally the set range should be 3 or 4 sets. And whenever I'm doing any like heavy lifting where I want to build, I normally opt for 5 reps, 5 sets because it is really heavy. So, what I want you to do when it comes to cable pull throughs is use a rope if your gym has one. You want to step forward, make sure that your back is nice and straight. You want to make sure that you have a slight bend to your knees. You don't want them completely locked out. This could cause injury. When you are pulling the weight, make sure that you're contracting your glutes at the top. But remember never to over hyper extend. And what I mean by that is pushing your hips too forward. You could lose balance and cause yourself a little bit of an injury. So make sure that you just contract at the top, keeping your core nice and stabilized and your back straight at all times. Similar to a stiff leg deadlift, when you are performing a cable deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, same principles apply, your back needs to be straight, your chest needs to be upright, your core needs to be engaged and nice and tight at all times. You want to feel that stretch in your hamstrings, you can also use an elevation such as a step or a box or whatever you have in the gym, which helps you get that bigger and wider range of motion and that depth so you can feel it in your hamstrings more. A lot of people ask me about this. I'm personally really, really flexible and I'm a shorty. Hey, shorty. I'm five foot three. So by adding that extra elevation, it helps me get a deeper range of motion and a deeper stretch in my hamstrings. So definitely give it a go if that's something that you want to be doing. Okay guys, so let's get into exercise number three, your super set. Moving on to our fourth exercise. So by now your glutes, your hamstrings, your soul should just be like burning up. You should be feeling it all over your body. But this is what we want. Make sure that you are contracting and make sure that you are taking your time with every set and every rep. This is not a race and form is absolutely crucial. I don't want you to be lifting so much weight and then hurting your back and injuring yourself, it's not even worth it. So please make sure your form is on point. If you want loads of how-to videos, I post so many on the Tone and Sculpt community page on IG. I do so many how-to videos every single Tuesday, so be sure to check that out. And why not follow the page along? Because there is lots of information there that I wouldn't want you to miss out. Okay guys, so moving on to exercise number four. We are gonna be doing some reverse lunges using the Smith machine. If you do not have a Smith machine, that is absolutely fine. You can just use the barbell or you can use some dumbbells instead. Always utilize what your gym or your home has. You don't have to use the equipment that I'm using necessarily. So we're doing five exercises. One more after this one and we're done. The final exercise I want you to do is a sumo deadlift using the Smith machine because oh my god the resistance is just going to fire 
up your entire legs and glutes, I promise you that. I want you to perform 10 reps, four sets. It's gonna be absolutely killer. It's gonna be that final cherry on top of your entire workout and you are absolutely gonna love it. Okay guys, so that was it. That's the entire workout. Please do give it a go and let me know what you thought. Remember the workout will be in the description box. Just give it a go, you've got nothing to lose and a whole lot to gain. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Remember that I love you always and forever. Bye.